Hey guys, BrandonMXB here. I'm going to do a uh, tutorial on binary as quickly as I can. Um, it's, a, it's an amazing thing to learn. Um, it's used in uh, IP version 4 subnetting, uh, basically all of computers, and um, you're going to find it very, very useful at the end of this uh, tutorial. Not only useful, but you can also um, make your friends think you're really, really smart. Okay, I couldn't really think of the best way to just you know do this so we're just gonna dive right into it I'm gonna throw it all out there and hopefully you'll understand it by the end of this um this video so um, first we're gonna start off with um with uh, the meaning of binary binary uh, the by means two in in binary uh, it's also known as base two because there are two different numbers used in the um, in the system uh, and those numbers are zero and one the zero is an off it's 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 false. It's not it's not you know um, it's not on. Uh, the one is an on. The um, the one means enabled, true, uh, you know whatever you want to say. Uh, we're not doing booleans, but you know you'll get it. Um, we're converting our numbering system decimal, the dec meaning ten, um, to binary. Um, yeah. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and teach you how to do it. Um, with decimal numbers to 15. So uh, let's do an 8 to begin with. An 8 would be this. Now why is it that? Because I want the 8 to be on. I want the 8 to be included. And since 8 uh, in binary goes perfectly to 1000, zero, 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 it's, it's just that. So if I want to do a 9, what would I do? I would do this because I'm adding 1 to that 8. So that would be in binary a 9. Let's check that on the calculator. I'm going to type in a 9. Here, let's go to programmer. There you go. All right, let's type in a 9 and then hit this little radio button that says binary. And yeah, it's correct. That's 9. Let's do a 2 now. It's just as easy as the 8. We're going to do a 0 because, you know, 8 doesn't fit into 2. 4 doesn't fit into 2. 1 fits into 2 perfectly. And then 2 plus 1 equals 3, it doesn't equal 2, so that's a 0 as well. So it, that would be a, uh, a 0, 0, 1, 0 in binary. But we just say 1, 0 or 10 or whatever you want to say. But um, that would be 2 in binary. Okay, let's do a slightly harder one. We're going to do, let's say, 11. Does, does 8 fit in 11? Yes, it does. Does a 4 fit in 11 plus the 8? No, that's 12. It doesn't fit in there. Does 2? Yes, it does. That equals 10. And now, does 1 fit in there? 10 plus 1 equals 11. So yes, it does fit in there. And I'm going to explain every, every, every bit how we got that step by step. All right, here's how I got that. I, I um, Obviously, 1 times 8 plus 0, because you know 0 doesn't fit in there, uh, times 4, um, plus 1 times 2 plus 1, uh, I mean, plus 1 times 1 uh, equals 11 decimal. This video might not be entirely spoon-fed, but it should be fairly easy for uh, anyone that has done basic arithmetic or uh, algebra or anything like that. Now we're going to do it on our hand. We're going to go all the way to 32. Now why 32? 16 times 2 is 32, right? And then 64 and so on and so forth. I'm going to show you on a calculator. Alright, so now we are, let's go to scientific mode. Alright, so 2 to the, let's say, fifth power equals 32. 2 to the, let's say, fourth power, 16. 16, so it just keeps going on and on. Oh, ugh, didn't want to do that. Okay, let's do uh, 2 to the first power, 2. Um, to the second power, 4, 8, uh, it skipped eight. Sixteen, two fifty six. Yeah, that's ugly. Alright, I think this is a better um explanation. It goes two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one hundred and twenty-eight, two fifty-six, and five twelve. If you've ever heard anyone say, I have five twelve uh megabytes of RAM or something like that's crappy by the way, but five twelve megabytes of RAM, that's what they mean. I mean, I don't think they actually know that, but um a lot of people don't. But uh that's that's what it would be. Or or that's where it comes from. Alright, here's, here's a piece that really confused me a while ago whenever I was learning. Um, 
if you have 16 different values, why does it only add up to 15? Well, um, 0 does count as a value. So if you want to do a 16, here, let's do 15. What would 15 be? 1, 1, 1, 1, right. Okay, if you want to do a 16, you have to do this. 8, 4, 2, 1. Okay, so you would, you would have to fill this in with 1. Fill this in with 0, fill this in with 0, 0, 0. It, it, that's just how it works, because 0 counts as a value. All right, I'm going to have to hurry this up because it doesn't look like I have much time left. So put your hand out real quick. You, you won't look like an idiot, I promise. Uh, okay, put your hand out and close all your fingers. That equals a 0. Put your thumb out. That equals a 1. And then your index finger is a 2. And then uh, put your thumb out again. Look on your fingers, and you might want to write this down, but your thumb equals a, uh, a 1. Your index finger equals a 2. Your uh, middle finger equals a 4, ring finger equals a 8, and your pinky equals a 16. Add all those up and you should have 31. That thumb equals a value, so if you add that in, it's 32. Okay, so go ahead and write those numbers on your hand. I promise, um, again, you probably won't look like an idiot, I don't know. Um, okay, so put your fingers out, close them all. They're all off. They all equal zeros right now. Now put your index finger out, and what's that equal? That equals a 2. Put your thumb out with your index finger. That equals a 3. Put your middle finger out. Um, don't be aiming it at anyone. Uh, that equals a 4. And then plus the middle finger plus the thumb equals a 5. Now, your index finger and your middle finger together, since your thumb's a 1, uh, index finger is a 2, and your middle finger is a 4, what's that equal? 6. Right, I hope I'm not going too fast. Put all your fingers out at once. What's that equal? 31. Um, I'm going to have to wrap this tutorial up right now. Um, I hope I hope this explained a lot of the things uh, of binary. It's just the basics. I'll be making many, many more videos to come, uh, probably to do with binary programming and things like that. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, make a one in your hand.